Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday, very unusual upload day for me, but I'm so excited to share with you um, my project for a Halloween journal challenge collaboration hosted by the lovely Kia Creates and all the links, everything will be listed down below. I have made a um, waterfall card slash junk journal page slash junk journal that you can use it as a cover as well so all details are in the video so keep watching and i will see you very soon today we are going to be making this lovely waterfall well it's kind of like a card but again you can use it as a junk journal cover you can put your signature so it could be a, this would be a really nice spread if you use it on a page as well so again i gave it three options already and then yeah i love them so they are little treat bags really steady so it's three by three so you can put a tea bag and then some um, stickers or ephemera or sweets you know like really, really flat sweets um, I mean, I can go on and on and on and on, <laughs> but I absolutely love it. So guys, let me show you what we need. So let's start from the card base. So the journal base is um, a piece of card, but again, you can use this as a card, but you can use it as a cover from if you want to put a couple of signatures inside. So this is 10 by 7, and then you, you score it at 5, and then you get these and then if you want to use it as a card you've got two layers of two pieces of cardstock that measure four and three quarter by six and three quarter so when you put it together you've got a really nice border so you've got one from inside and one from the outside that we're going to decorate in a minute okay so that's what your journal or card will look like and then what you can do you can punch the holes to put your pages so it will be a really nice spread okay so then we need a piece of cardstock that measure 11 by 2. And what you do, guys, this will be the mechanism when we're going to put all the treats bags together. OK, so you then score it at six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight and eight and a half. And then you just vanish the banish all these really nice folds so you get something that looks like that okay which will be the mechanism of your treat holder then we need a piece which is this is really really important and pick something pick a cut so that's really thick this piece measure one by two and three quarter and this is the piece that will may basically put everything in place it will attach that there so nothing will move and then you will have all your treat bags moving up and down okay and then last you need five i mean i have done three because my the prompt is treat of course i make treat bags but you can either use it as a just a square and put an image on top if you want but i decided to create uh, little um, little bags to put my treats okay so these you need five of those my measure six by three and then when you fold it in a half you get three and by three so it's, it's a square and what I've what I've done I create a little um with my circle punch this is one inch circle punch I have created a little notch there you know to for um you'll be able to pick your treats easily and then this is totally um it's not mandatory but again will make things look nicer you've got your layers and i'm going to use kia stickers on these uh, so it's five panels that measure two and three quarter by two and three quarter and again what i've done i already gone and um use my um my punch my circle punch to get a notch so when you do layer it you get a really nice border all the way around so that will be my treat bag so what we're going to do i'm going to use kia's uh, stickers to decorate all these five and we're going to put them all together simply guys put a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there so you create your pouches okay so nothing move 
and I'm gonna use the stickers on here and we're gonna make our five bags. So I've done the five pouches. <laughs> These stickers are so adorable. So one, two, and then of course there's plenty of room to put, I don't know if you wanna put like um, stickers of course, or any like ephemera or tea bags or sweets. Honestly, you decide what to put in it. So, so, so cute. Look at them. <laughs> so cute. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start attaching them together. So, this is the mechanism. Okay. So, on the one with the short side, because you see you've got this very, very long, and then all you've got all your scoring and folding line, and then you've got this little bit. So, from the one on the top, okay, so you can see I already put, uh, double size tape you can use glue which i will probably recommend because they give you that couple of seconds of wiggle room if it's not straight the um the double side tape doesn't give you that extra flexibility in case you made a little mess like i do <laughs> but um yeah i mean for speedness i um i just put double side tape i only peeled off the first one though don't peel them off together do one section at a time so start with your first one which will be for me will be this one and what you need to try to do you need to try to make sure so stick on that but it also is centered so what i suggest you put it flat like that and then of course when i did my um knock there that was already in the center of the of the of the box of the little um treat bag so roughly i am um, centered it and then as long as you get the first one Let's see if I've done a good job. Yeah, it looks fairly in the middle. And then the rest, we're just going to be, we're just going to align them. Okay. So that's the first. And then we're going to do the second there, the third, fourth, and fifth. Okay. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to speed it up so you can see what I'm doing. So when you put all the bags together, you end up with something that looks like this. Okay, so all your treat bags are together. Okay, so this will be the one that we pull. See? So now this little bit here, we're going to see it. So I will probably put um, a little sticker, but we can have a look. In fact, what, now you've got an option. So if you, for example, I've just done my card base or cover base in, if you wanted to. So you can use that and I'll show you how we're going to attach it in a minute. So you can use that as a pull or you could cut it there, which I'm going to do. So chop this off. So you don't see it. And what am I going to do? I've got some um, blank cardstock there. I'm just going to punch a little circle. I'm going to put a double side tape in there. In fact, let's use, let's use the big one. Yeah, roughly. Of course, I dropped it. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Put my chairs back on the desk. <laughs> so, just gonna chop. Just gonna chop these off. Sorry, that was. A, I should have prepared this, but never mind. We do things live. <laughs> so, take the backing off. Okay, and then we're going to position that not on the card. Remember, guys, not on the card, on the on this white piece there. So if I put this on the desk, 
with the glue facing up and then make sure the card the white card is there yeah okay and then press it so this will be your pulling your pull okay so there so what we're going to do we're going to attach see we just need to attach that so it goes like these so, 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 so we kind of like centered if you wish you decided where to go now because i don't want the white so if you use a card you can now decorate it but i'm going to use one of my uh, haunted castle on the background and i'll be right back so i have put one of the castle on the front i left a little white border because there is quite a lot of white in here so it's all blend together so we're nearly there guys we're nearly there what i need you guys to do on the little piece that we attach the tab i need you to put glue or double side tape whatever you prefer i'm using double side tape if we're gonna attach do you know this little piece i told you in the beginning which is measured one by two and three quarter as you can see on the two side i put a little bit of um double side tape again you can put uh, glue you can use glue if you wanted to it's just for for speed i use double side tape and you just simply peel it off and then we peel off this piece here again if you use glue you can use glue it doesn't matter okay whatever you prefer so we need to attach this piece with the two side facing down because that's going to be attached on the card okay so we just put that piece on top again make sure that it's as centered as you can be okay so you see now you've got the two little tabs on each side with a double side tape and then we're going to put that on our card centered as is possible there okay guys done little mistake i have told you the tab we don't have to put it on this piece here but it goes on the long one okay so that's because i was like why is it not moving because yeah it was on the wrong place <laughs> so yeah the tab in there now because i have used this white cardstock can you see am i in shot yes so i decided to cut a piece of black cardstock so i'm gonna put it on top so you won't see you see with the with the tab i'm just going to cover it uh, completely because i think it will look um hold on it will look a bit neater so if i do it this way perfect yeah that will give me really nice um a really nice border as well okay so when you pull it down you can either lift it up like that so when you put it down it goes up and down you just need to make sure yeah you've got some room in there okay you can either pull right pull but i don't think it's necessarily so and then um that you go your little treat holders <laughs> okay what do you guys think i love it again you can use this as a card but also you can put your signature and that will be like a spread and then that will be your journal so you can put your your pages in there this is the measurement so if you guys want to stop and take a screenshot so post a video a taken screenshot so that's the card base the inside two layers the little mechanism the little piece that put it together and that's your five panel which will be your bags in there okay so guys i'm going to go that's it for today thank you so much kia i absolutely enjoy playing with your stickers i hope i got <laughs> hope you guys like the prompt so it was fun i'm not used this uh, but what i thought we'd do we're going to put it inside okay so i'm just going to peel it off if i can i have an issue with these stickers not because of the stickers it's just me so let me yeah that's it so i'm going to stick in in the middle 
there. I love it. Love it. Love it. So, yeah. So, thank you so much once again to the lovely Kia to, um, well, for send me the stickers and also participate to these fabulous collaboration so I'll put all keys linked the details linked down below that's the discount code again everything will be written that's the stickers everything is down below okay guys as usual thank you so much for everything you guys do for me and today's shout out comment will goes to the lovely steph woolly steph she's my sister here on youtube and i will put steph's comment on the screen now uh, steph just said that She's very happy for us on the news on the house. Thank you so much, Steph. It means the work to me. And before we go, it's the quote time. So as you guys are aware, I've got this lovely book with quotes and aff affirmation and activities to bring calmness every day. So today is day 16. So I'm just going to cover what we've done before. And what goes to the next video, I don't want to spoil it. It says, yesterday is ashes, tomorrow will be wood. Only today is that's the fire burn br brightly. Old Inuit proverb. So think about tomorrow, not yesterday. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching it and I will see you next week. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much, Kia, for the opportunity to showcase your lovely stickers and to be part of these amazing collaborations. I took a look at all the videos from my previous crafters in the previous day. Honestly, I'm so, so delighted. Guys, if you want more ideas and inspiration for Halloween, I will put a couple more links here on the screen. One where we made some Halloween bubbles decoration and a second video where we made some more Halloween treats or gift bags. Feel free to watch and click on the links now. Guys, thank you so much for watching once again. And until tomorrow, stay safe and well. Mwah. Bye.